So I think it's very important as testers we learn to understand regular expressions and in this video I'm going to show you how to test a regular expression interactively. In the modern world of coding, we copy and paste code from the internet into our applications. One of the things that is frequently copied are regular expressions because they can be a bit of a pain to write. So I'm going to show you how I tested a regular expression that I copy and pasted into an application that I've just written. So I was writing this application and I put a regular expression in here and the regular expression I found from the internet. And the way I did it, what this application does is it looks for HTTP URLs or HTTPS URLs in text and pulls them out. So I did what all good programmers do and do a search on the internet for a regular expression that will match HTTP URLs. So I just did a web search because I was using PHP. So I need to figure out in PHP, how do I find the URL? I followed some links to regular expression, da 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 da. And I ended up here. This is a nice page. It's got lots of images and the regular expressions seem understandable. And there's one in here for how to match a URL. Simple. So in order to use this, I first of all, I didn't want it to match the beginning of a text. I just wanted it to match anywhere in the string. So I took out just the middle bit that matches the URL and tried to find a regular expression tester. Pick the first one here. There are so many regular expression testers on the internet now. It's very useful. So to test a regular expression, I put the regular expression in the top. Then I put some data in the bottom, then it tells me if it matches or not. And here it has matched. So I have a regular expression that matches that URL. Does it match this one? Yes, it does. And this is how we test regular expressions. We put the regular expression in, we find a bunch of data and we test it against the regular expression. That's a useful thing to do. So I put that regular expression into my code and it didn't work. Now, it's not to say it didn't work, it didn't match everything, because what I didn't do was I didn't test it against the data that I was actually going to parse. So this is the data that I will be parsing in the application, and really that should form part of my test code. So here it is, it's matched in that one, excellent. Put this one in, let's see what happens and it's matched the whole line. So it's a bit more permissive than I want. I have to do something. Now these regular expressions, are, if you were just testing, this would be fine. You found a problem, you can show the data that you've used to find the problem um, and raise the defect or work with the developers to get this fixed. If you're going to fix it yourself, regular expression testers like this are very good because they explain what you've done. So you can work through this and figure out where you have gone wrong. Now, where I've gone wrong here is I'm matching lots of white space and just allowing it to continue and it's matched everything to do that. So not quite what we want. So I fiddled with this a bit to come up with a slightly different regular expression. So let me test this new regular expression. There we go. That matches exactly what I want. A little bit simpler in that it doesn't have as many matching groups, but that matches what I want. And this regular expression testing tool help me find it. Now what's interesting is this is a first step. This is an interactive process for working with data and the regular expression. Because regular expressions can be different in different languages, doesn't guarantee that the testing that you're doing here is working. Now I'm using a PHP flavor here. Switch on to JavaScript, it seems to work, Python, but I don't know whether this stuff on the side is actually matching. Best way to get the regular expressions tested is in unit tests, for the application that you're working with. The worst way is to use the entire flow that you have to go through to hit that regular expression. And this regular expression, if this was in a form entry field and it was validating the regular, validating the input against the regular expression, I would have to go through the entire application to get to that form, fill in the form, then see the output. That could be a long process. That might be a registration field or form where I have to fill in a whole bunch of fields before I get that one validated. This can be a very painful thing, which is why testing them in isolation is a useful 
technique. Now you need to be working with the exact regular expression from the code. I have worked with applications in the past that have used different regular expressions on the front end and the back end, which is why it's important to work very closely with the development team to get the actual regular expressions that you're working with. And I've also worked on applications where we have regular expressions, but they don't actually match the requirements for the application. So that's a quick run through of how to test regular expressions interactively. Thank <laughs> you.